Okay, so this video is related to one of the other videos about the omitted variable bias that I uploaded earlier in which uh, we may be interested in uh, the effect of uh, beta 1 on y and uh, we can estimate uh, two models one with two variables in it x1 and uh, x2 and the other is if we can estimate the model with only x1 variable in the model and we saw the conditions under which uh, this beta 1 tilde will be equal to beta 1 hat that is if beta 2 is 0 that is x2 doesn't have any impact on y or if x1 and x2 are uncorrelated with each other then beta 1 tilde will be equal to beta 1 hat so it seems like if beta 2 is uh, non-zero that is beta 2 have some impact on y excluding x2 from the model can introduce a bias in the estimate of beta 1 tilde on the other hand if beta 2 is 0 that means x2 has no impact on y in that case uh, no matter if we include x2 variable in the model or exclude x2 variable in the model beta 1 tilde will be equal to beta 1 hat and the other condition is if x1 and x2 variables are uncorrelated with each other in that case we are indifferent between including or excluding x2 variable in the model because beta 1 tilde will be equal to beta 1 hat so it seems like um, if uh, these two conditions are met that is beta 2 is 0 and uh, there is no correlation between x1 and x2 we will get unbiased estimator of beta 1 no matter we estimate beta 1 tilde or beta 1 hat on the other hand if either beta 2 is non-zero or there is correlation between x1 and x2 variables then excluding x2 variable from the model will make beta 1 tilde biased so we'll be introducing an omitted variable bias in the model from these uh, we can conclude that it is always better to include x2 variable in the model because if it is uh, correlated with y and x2 then including it in the model we will get beta 1 hat which is unbiased and if uh, beta 2 is 0 then it will have no impact uh, on y hat so in any case we are better off including x2 variable in the model so that is the story for unbiasedness estimates of this beta 1 hat if we include the variance in this discussion then the story is different and remember we want to get the minimum variance of uh, this beta 1 hat or beta 1 tilde that is we want to get a smaller variance for beta 1 so it seems like from the above models the variance of beta 1 tilde is always smaller than variance of beta 1 hat unless the correlation between x2 is zero that is x1 and x2 variables are uncorrelated with each other if they are uncorrelated with each other then we will get the minimum variance for beta 1 tilde so this is different than our previous discussion about uh, the size of beta 1 hat and beta 1 tilde when x1 and x2 are uncorrelated they are equal that is beta 1 hat and beta 1 tilde their sizes are equal if uh, x1 and x2 are uncorrelated with each other but here we see that the story is different if we include uh, the variance in the picture the variance of beta 1 tilde is less than the variance of uh, beta 1 hat so it seems like if x1 and x2 variables are uncorrelated with each other we are better off uh, estimating this model rather than this model the cost of including an irrelevant variable x2 in the model is the higher variance of uh, this beta 1 coefficient we can talk about two cases uh, from this assuming that x1 and x2 are not correlated with each other we can have two cases that is beta 2 is non-zero that is x2 has some impact on this y variable in this case we know that beta 1 tilde will be biased beta 1 is biased we know because this is having some impact and remember in this case beta 1 tilde will be equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat delta 1 tilde from the omitted variable bias and beta 1 hat is unbiased because that is our true model but the variance of beta 1 
tilde is less than the variance of beta 1 hat. If we estimate this model, then we will get a smaller variance, but uh, our beta 1 tilde will be biased. And the second condition is when beta 2 is 0. That is, x2 has no impact on y variable. In this case, no matter if we estimate beta 1 tilde or beta 1 hat, they are equal. So beta 1 tilde and beta 1 hat both will be unbiased. And the variance of beta 1 tilde will be less than the variance of beta 1 hat. So what we can conclude from this discussion is, if we care about the bias, then including an irrelevant variable in the model, we can make sure that we are taking care of that bias. But on the other hand, the variance will be much better in the parsimonious model rather than in the model with irrelevant variables in the model. Seems like including an irrelevant variable in the model, we will introduce uh, noise in the model and the variance will inflate. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.